This is a very quick introduction to the Pivot Stick Figure Animator. Um, what we're going to do is have we look at it. First of all, each stick figure is made up of a number of segments, and these segments are joined together using nodes. There are two types of nodes. There is the red node, which is a rotational node, where things rotate about that position. And there is the orange node, where you can then move the figure. If I add an extra figure, so that's now two, you'll notice that the nodes have changed to blue, and that's not the figure that's selected. So the selected one is always red. Just a quick rundown of how it works. Basically what we do with Pivot is it's very much like drawing in the corner of your drawer when you were at school. You draw a picture, you change it a little bit, turn the page, do it, so on and so forth, until you end up with a sort of flick book. Well, exactly the same thing here. What I'm going to do is we're going to move these shapes. So I'm going to move this one. I'm going to add a frame. I'm going to move this one. I'm going to add a frame. And all that will then do is basically just flick between the two. So the person will sit and move different bits. Okay. And I can then just add another frame. And I can start to make different types of animation. Now, obviously, you don't just move one segment when you animate you would move many segments at once a lot of people find it hard when they're looking at the stick figure animator and they're sitting there giving it i'm not entirely sure how we make it face sideways so if you look at the stick figure you'll see it appears to be standing straight on but that's because of how the human mind works what we're going to do is we're going to make this stick figure face sideways by simply doing this and this and the figure now appears to face sideways because, well, that's what we expect. We look at that human and we realise that this arm there and this arm here are the shoulders. So that's a very simple introduction to animation. There's a couple of other things we might want to look at. And these are the play button to start the animation. And the stop button to stop the animation. I unfortunately am recording at only two frames per second, so as a result, the animation will be a little bit on the, the jerky side when you're looking at it here. We can increase on pivot what the animation rate is by dragging up the slider to a maximum of 33 frames per second and down as low as 7. To be honest with you, 15 frames per second or thereabouts is just about perfect. The only other thing I'd want to introduce to you in this particular one is the colours. You can change the colour of the pivot stick figures. And that's an introduction to pivot.